This is a video by Richmond. Today we are working on a Model A Ford wiper motor. And what we're doing today is we are rebuilding it. Now, the kits that we have for the wiper motor will only work on the what, Dad? The wiper motor that doesn't have two screws in the cover. Okay, so that's the aftermarket one. That, this is the aftermarket. Right, and that's the only one that this kit rebuild kit will work on. Right. Okay. All right, what's the first thing we got to do? First thing we got to do is take remove this cover. And it just pops off? It just pops off. It's got two little nibs in it. And you set that aside. Okay. I'm going to take it apart, start taking the bolts out. Now, those bolts are bolts that nobody has seen before. Yeah, they're an odd head. We have no wrench for them. Now those little needle nose pliers that you have there. Oh, they're flat nose. Flat nose pliers seem to work pretty well. Whoops, and the cover came off. Oh, there ain't a heck of a lot of stuff in there. Nope. And here is a close-up of the parts we're going to have to be disassembling here. You can see there's a little spring there. And then we got this fiber piece that is part of the kit. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. Look at that. Before I take the gaskets off, I get. Okay. Now. Spring is off. And it's hooked at that little fiber piece. Yeah, that was a fi that was a fiber That's piece. That's a fiber piece. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that, that looks like a new one in there. Right in the kit, right there. And this comes off next. Wow. I don't what? know what that gunk is. Uh, Could be corrosion. Uh, it's probably been in, in there accumulating since the 1930s. Wow. That came off. Yeah, a little lever there. And that goes with that. And this brings out the... We just got done transferring the shaft over to the new wiper right here. Used a 1 8 drill to drill out the old rivet that goes through the shaft. What I just did here was I used compressed air and blew out all the passage ways in there to make sure they were nice and clean. Alright, so you got Neats Fit Oil? Neats Foot Oil, that's for the, for the oil. edges of the leather. So this will slide back and forth. Starting, huh? Yeah, it started in. Alright, so we don't need any more oil? I don't think so. Okay. It looks like everything lines up. But everything lines up this way. Okay. Now the problem is to get it on onto that. That should those gaskets should stay right there. 
If I get it the right way, I have to make sure I get it the right way, yep. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now that we got the top cover on is to replace this, which is part of the switch. All right, now we've got the little felt washer right there. Now what do we do? Take this little piece here and put it right on so it covers the holes. Okay, so that does the switching of the vacuum. Then you have to put this on. All right, so that had the little prong right there is up and on that little pin in the back. Then you take this little piece. Can you move this a little bit right here, Dan? Just a little bit. Oops. Oops. So we can get a little better look at it. Then you take this little piece and put it in that hole. Okay. Then you take this piece and take it back off and you have to set this with the spring in it. And you gotta take this spring and put this. I got it in the wrong place. Gotta put it this way and put this. There's in a little, that notch. There's, right, there's a little notch in that arm right there. Then I gotta take and put my finger here. What if wait? What if you do the opposite? What if you engage the spring first and then pull it? No? Oh boy, that thing goes flying. You got it? I got it in. That's where it has to go in. Right here, tip it up here so I can see, see what's going on. Let me just hold it right there. Alright, so... So, the lever is in that little hole right there. And... Then the engages, let me say, you know, engages into that fiber piece. And then and it goes back and forth. Right, and then the spring right there is into this piece right here. And that bottom piece is on that pin right there. So that's the way all the parts have to be reassembled. Then this cover goes on to close it up. Okay. And that just snaps in place. And we have assembled it. Yeah, that's it. Next is the test. No spare parts? Let me check for spare parts. <laughs> no spare parts? No spare, well we have spare gaskets. So what would happen if we had spare parts? We'd be in deep trouble. <laughs> Start all over again. Just just, uh, just throw them in a bucket? Yeah. Open them up and throw them inside. <laughs> okay. Here's the rebuilt one. We got it all hooked up to the truck. And you can see she's working. She's going back and forth. We had to, uh, we had to give it a little assist because it's, uh, it's so tight in there. But she's working. And that's all there is to rebuilding your Model A wiper motor.